Chrisman Clark. Lily Sherman. Your passion. Lauren Bowen. Chief Marshall, Anna Church. It is such an honor to be carrying on a tradition of a position that Jayla did such a great job at this year. She set a great example of what it means to be a Chief Marshal. We are so excited to be opening this year's Honors Convocation Program. Good afternoon, and thank you to our Marshals for kicking us off today. Our Marshals are just another example of a cherished St. Mary's tradition that we are able to continue despite the current lens landscape we find ourselves in. Welcome to students, parents, colleagues, and guests. Welcome to the Honors Convocation for St. Mary's School. Today, we will highlight and recognize the achievements of many of our outstanding students as we begin to officially close the 178th year of our school. It is truly exciting to gather everyone together, albeit virtually, to begin a celebration of all that has been accomplished during the 2019-2020 academic year. And boy, have we accomplished a lot. Though we were experienced with virtual learning processes through our previous snow and hurricane days, we still had to take a full school online in mid-March. That was no small undertaking. Yet with the resolve, unwavering spirit, and dedication of our truly exemplary faculty and staff, we did it. Thank you to all the women and men who tirelessly immersed themselves in the virtual world so that our girls could continue to learn and grow. And to the students, you have been remarkable. Though it hasn't been perfect, and as you know, nothing in life ever is, you adjusted and shifted. And notice I didn't use the word pivot, but you made the changes necessary to make it work. You also provided us with invaluable feedback so that we could enhance the overall experience. Thank goodness we made the changes that we did and developed a schedule that was more manageable and user-friendly. Way to go, saints. And finally, to our parents, we need to recognize you too. Let's face it, this transition to stay-at-home orders and social distancing has not been easy for any of us. You have been uber loyal to St. Mary's through this time, and we appreciate your steadfast support and flexibility. Well done, and thank you. Students, turn to your parents and give them a hug, or at least a nice thank you. I wanted to start this honors convocation by honoring you, each and every faculty member, student, and parent, because together you deserve recognition for all that we have accomplished together. Can we have some applause, please, to honor all these fantastic people who make up the St. Mary's community. Let's hear it. Thank you for that warm and hearty applause. Today, we celebrate student achievement in both academics and citizenship. St. Mary's places equal emphasis on scholarship and citizenship in our students. 
So it is fitting that we will recognize achievements in both areas this morning. Usually, Honors Convocation kicks off a series of events on graduation weekend leading up to commencement. That's not the case this year. This year, Honors Conv Convocation stands alone. Today, we will present numerous awards to St. Mary's students who have distinguished themselves in a variety of ways. We have a lot of young women to recognize, so please pay attention as the awards are announced on the screen. Most awards come with a St. Mary's medallion with the school logo on one side and the recipient's initials, year, and the abbreviated name of the award on the opposite side. If you are an award recipient, please know we will get the award to you in the near future. Before starting with the awards, I want to say congratulations to all St. Mary's students. You all deserve an award for making it through this memorable year. We'll begin the student recognitions with Student Life Awards, 